Do you like link aggregators? The one link that allows you to send customers to all of your properties or products online. Do you? But they can be much cheaper and easily achieved. What am I talking about? Well, let's dive in and talk about what WordPress can do for you today. Hi everyone, my name is Vadim. Do you know Linktree or do you know Solo.to? Excellent platforms. Linktree allows you to create one link and then put additional links into the landing page. So you can have a business and then link to your YouTube channel, your Facebook profile, your special courses, anything you want. And that's fantastic because these were created because of the restrictions of social platforms, which allow you to provide only one URL for your customers to use. So there you go. Let's take a look. I have a Linktree profile and then I'm just signing in. I'm going to show you what it looked like. Now it was free, so I didn't, I couldn't do a lot of fancy things with it. And this is how it looked. Then came challengers. As soon as Linktree exploded and you'll see a lot of people on Instagram use Linktree. Solo.to came on Steve. Koji, oh, with Koji came on, on, on the playing field and they started offering even more features such as selling products, allowing you to download PDFs, lead magnets. Wow, fantastic. And people started to gravitate to them. But Koji, if you're selling something with it, takes 15% of your transaction. Linktree, if you upgrade to the pro version, is $6 a month, which is not a lot. Solo.to is even cheaper. You can have it for a dollar a month. But should you? And I ask myself that question because I will show you how to create this in your WordPress website. I use WordPress and Thrive Suite, and I'll link that in the description below. Those two tools together allow me to create anything I want. Look, this is what my page looks like. And here is another version of what it would look like on a mobile device. Take a look at this. Fabulous, isn't it? This links to my website. This allows you to download one of my favorite lead magnets that I've recently updated. This links you to my courses and then all of my social media profiles. I can just as easily include my latest YouTube video in here. Or I can, if I, if I was running an e-commerce store, I could put my favorite product that I was promoting. I could have a coupon, anything you want, because this is run off your website. And because I already have WordPress and I already have my theme builder, I'm paying nothing for it and I can modify it the way I want. Now, some of you might be thinking, of course, but it takes expertise in order to be able to build something like this. Does it? I'm going to show you how we can build a page just like this in less than five minutes. Here to follow me? Come on, let's jump, jump in. Here's my dashboard. Let's go to pages and add a new one. Again, you might be using a different page builder. I get it. Uh, I am a huge fan of uh, Thrive Suite because I'm all about conversion. And uh, I really hope that they build this template into their standard uh, group of templates that they already come with. Let's see how this works. Now that we've created the page, let's launch Thrive Architect. And I need to create a block. I need a completely empty page, no header, no footer, so there's no, there are no distractions. So I'm going to go with a completely blank page. And then I'm going to add the simplest block possible. So I'm going to pick a text block right here on the side. The simplest one with no formatting, because honestly, I'm going to get rid of all of this before long. Remember, we're using a page builder, which means we're not restricted to fonts. We're not restricted to what can go in the background. We're not restricted to how buttons are going to look. And we're not restricted to what's going to happen on this page. So let's do something fancy. Uh, how do you like this font? I don't really. So let's pick something else. Let's pick. Yeah. Why don't we pick that? Why not? And then I am going to go to my right. Pick a button and drag it onto this page right underneath this text. Wonderful. I will make the first theme a very simple one. So I'm going to go with a dark gray for my button and all caps for the font. Let's say this is my website. 
I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to add an icon because I want it to look really fancy and I'm going to change my icon to something that represents the web. How about this? Works well. Perfect. Now I'm just going to copy this button. Oh, right. Forgot one thing. Of course, we need to assign a link to this button. Now in Thrive, uh, this is Thrive Architect, in Thrive Architect, all of the pages are indexed, so I just need to start typing home and it'll pull uh, the list of pages that have home in it. And voila, I just linked it to my home page. And I'm going to ask it to open it in a new tab so that if you're using this on a mobile device or even if you're using it on a desktop, once you hit that home page, it opens up a separate window, but you always, the user always has that list of the links that I want them to see so they can easily go back to it. Great. Now I'm going to copy this and here's the second button. Let's say this is my Facebook profile. Facebook. Great. And the icon for Facebook is right here. I'm going to use this one. Fantastic. Now let's say you created an awesome lead magnet and you want to drive people to it. Sure. Let's duplicate this button and then say awesome lead magnet and what are we going to hear here we're going to say to people that they want to download it download something like this there you go you have just created essentially what linktree or other platforms allow you to do sure you had to spend all what one minute doing this and there point and click, I don't think this is a big deal. In fact, even if you're not using WordPress with Thrive Suite, or you might have a different page builder, or you might be using Kajabi, you can do this. This is not that hard. Now, let's make this look pretty because see, the buttons are not the same size. So what I'm gonna go here is I'm gonna go and button width, I'm gonna set it to 40%. I think that should be enough space for any type of text I want to include. Maybe that's too wide, but that's okay. 40% and this one is also 40% and here at the bottom you will be able to preview how this looks on a tablet. Okay, on a tablet I think I need to go with something like 60%. 60% and let's see if the text will fit for this one. 60%. Beautiful. And let's see how this looks on a mobile device. Oof. In this particular case, I'm going to choose this button and I'm going to go all the way to 90%, almost the full width of the screen, 90%. And this is going to be button 90% as well. This one doesn't perfectly fit in, but we can fiddle with the font. We can just call it lead magnet. So this is how it's going to look. One thing I would recommend you add, although this works perfectly fine because this is your website, you may want to add a footer where you'll have privacy policy so that these people know that they've landed on your page. Remember, there is no logo or anything of that nature. Should you want a logo, let's just add it because nothing is stopping us. Here and here's my logo, insert into post. Now I want to make sure that it is centered and I don't want it this big, it's too big. How about like this? Let's see preview on a tablet on a mobile device, love it. Now, let's say you wanna express yourself. Let's go to the back of this block. Oh, sorry, before we go to the back of the block, remember what I said, we want the footer. So let's go to the page and add a footer. Again, in Thrive Suite, I've already predefined what my standard footer should be, but this is too busy for this, uh, for this particular page. I'm just gonna change it all together and I'm gonna create something like this. Insert footer like this. Okay, one of the main options I wanna make sure is section minimum height. I wanna match height to screen so that when you look at this, it covers the whole screen. If you were going to be fancy, let's go to the background and let's create something amazing. Let's create a gradient background. Let's go gradient from this blue into this purple and into this almost brightish pink and finish off with this nice deep violet. 
how do you like this? To each their own, because I'm going to change the text now to go to white. And we're going to change the font to something more interesting. Let's say like this. Great. And uh, the buttons. See, I can choose a different template for the button altogether. How about this? Uh, no, let's undo this. Um, how about I'll just drop a shadow and I'll change the color of the button to something. Whoa, no, white maybe. Oh, that might be interesting. How about white with uh, a dark font? Black font? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for the dramatic look of this. Let's go with the black. And then if I want, I can go down to my styles here and uh, I'm going to go with shadow and I'm just going to drop a shadow and it's going to look like this. We can even leave it like this and it still looks amazing. And look, and if you scroll down, there's your privacy policy. Everything's great. The only thing that's left to do is save work. Let's publish it. Let's do a preview. Fantastic. This is a demo page that's going to disappear, but you see how long it took? It took only a few minutes. In fact, we spend more time fiddling with what we want to put in the page rather than just putting it together. And this is exactly what Linktree allows you to do. Now, of course, Linktree uh, took a step forward because they're very user friendly and I'm, my hat's off to them. They're geniuses for taking advantage of what Instagram is pushing us into one link and they created the ability to reach out to everything else but there's one problem let's say you're running ads when people are on your instagram profile and you have your link tree or solo.to or koji in your about me section and they click on it and they see a nice list of links remember they haven't landed on your page they landed on link trees page which means if you have a pixel on your website or if you're running analytics and you want to create custom audiences or just understand who's interested in your page, you're not capturing any of the information until somebody clicks and goes to your website. But when you create this page on your domain, on your website, you have access to absolutely everything. In fact, even the analytics function that Linktree offers you can be recreated easily in Google Data Studio. Just take a look at this. I've just done this yesterday, so there's not enough data. But if you were to imagine this is going to be updated daily here, this is the number of sessions. In fact, I can put any metrics into this one. Somebody clicked on the button website, LinkedIn, links pages. This is how many events happen. I can do whatever I want. Why? Because I own this interaction with this client. So you're not missing out on analytics. But okay, I'm not trying to say that those services are pointless and useless. They definitely have a use. One, if you're not technically inclined and if what I just walked you through scares you, by all means, they're fantastic. And they all have free plans, which is fabulous for entrepreneurs who are just starting out. They also have, when you subscribe to pro versions, you also have the ability to schedule when the link appears and disappears. Many different options exist. And that's all fabulous. But what I am showing you here is that you do not need to do any of that because in three minutes with a group uh, theme builder or a page builder on a WordPress website, you can have just as an amazing thing. So if you want, Check out my Instagram profile, Solo Business Redeem, and see what's in my bio profile. I have solobusiness.ca backslash links, and it takes you to my links page, which is this. And I can update it at any point in time. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope this empowers you, and hope you now get excited because all of you can have your own Linktree, solo.to, Koji on your website. And capture all of those interactions that your clients might have with your page and be able to market to them because hey we're in this internet marketing game <laughs>